Jesse. Hi, Jesse. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you. This is a gorgeous ring. Yeah, thanks. It's very exciting. The first one here in Tri Valley. So, thank you to Bishop Branch City Center. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks for making time to chat with us. You're an Olympic gold medalist. So, as such, you're one of the most well known people from Fremont, a native girl. <laughs> yes. um, I want to ask you, how much pride do you feel about being a Fremont native? Uh, very proud of being a Fremont native. Um, you know, I had a great childhood, uh, fun at growing up there in all the schools, and you know, my my parents and my brother's family still live there, so we're still very connected. How would you describe Fremont growing up as a place for kids? I think it was a really good place for kids. I mean, it was um, a bit of a sleepy town, you know, it was, it's, it's just typical suburb, right? But I yeah. felt like, um, you know, there was everything we needed, that activities, whether it was basketball, soccer, I ice skated, but also did dance and everything in Fremont. So lots of things to offer families with young kids, yeah. but then also, you know, great schools. Yeah, now I know you still go back a lot. Your dad obviously is still there. Everybody, I think, went to Dr. Yamaguchi for their teeth. Um, but how do you think it's changed, right? Is it still the same or does it feel much different? Well, it's funny because I remember when they got their first Starbucks. <laughs> so, I mean, it's changed a lot. There were a lot more open spaces and it was, it really was a suburb, but it, there's, you know, kind of a little mini downtown area with Whole Foods now and like kind of all, you know, more, uh, not quite urban, but, you know, kind of that mini urban type of living feel. But, yeah. uh, but yet it's still, very community and family oriented. Mm, okay. Well, you know, ABC 7 News is always working on building a better Bay Area through our reporting. I'm wondering, in your opinion, what has Fremont done to build a better Bay Area for its residents? Well, I see Fremont as building a better Bay Area by, you know, continuing to have uh, great access to activities for the families. I think, you know, sporting activities and organizations that can uh, support all the, the things kids want to do. And, uh, you know, even allowing uh, access, you know, my uh, Always Dream Foundation came in. We wanted to build an all abilities play park and they offered an incredible space at Central Park. Uh, near Lake Elizabeth mm -hmm. for an all abilities playground so children of all abilities can go and play together so very inclusive and I think forward thinking it was one of the first in the Bay Area and you know I think they continue to have that community family focus. It sounds like you feel like Fremont has managed to retain its family feel community feel even though it's grown so much in terms of the population do you think there are any challenges that Fremont might be facing today because it's grown so much? Yes definitely and I expect Experience it um, several times a week <laughs> is the traffic. traffic. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, always going that 680 North, uh, uh, that corridor over through Fremont and Mission, and then over the Sunol Grade is always a nightmare. But I know they're improving that, so hopefully that new express lane will help. Um, you know, I mean, I think it has grown incredibly. So, what are Christy Yamaguchi's Fremont favorites? So, where would you tell visitors to go check out? So, I actually grew up in Niles, which is a really tiny district in Fremont. It's where Charlie Chaplin made his first black and white films. Very cool. Uh, not black and white, silent films, uh, okay. which were also black and white. <laughs> but um, it's a really cute, fun little antiques town. So definitely check that out. And one of my favorite places to go there is called Time for Tea. And it's always a holiday tradition uh, for the girls in the family to Aww. have tea time there. And isn't there a cool train, too? There is a cool train. It goes through the Sunol and comes back into Niles. And during the holidays, they decorate with holiday lights and there's hot chocolate served so for the little ones and you know even my girls are teenagers they still enjoy taking that little train ride all right fantastic thanks for sharing your Fremont thoughts with us Christy thank you. yes thank you